squared minus 3x uh, minus 4. Try to factor that trinomial. Okay, let's see how we can do this. You notice right off the bat that you can't pull anything out of each one of these three terms. You're not going to have any like terms pulled out uh, of those three terms of the trinomial. We want our first term to be x squared. The only nice way to do this in our two binomials when we're foiling is to have an x here and an x here. That'll multiply to get a, an x squared. Now our last term has to be a negative 4. These two terms here have to multiply to be negative 4. So we have uh, more than one option. We have negative 2 and positive 2. We have negative 4 and positive 1. We have uh, negative 1 and positive 4. And we could switch all the negatives and plus signs. We could have uh, a 2 and a negative 2. We could have a 4 and a negative 1. We could have a 1 and a negative 4. So keep all those options in mind. Now the question is which one of these um, three possibilities is going to give us a middle term of negative 3x? And this just takes practice. Once you do a lot of these, you'll be able to see it right away. For now, you might want to just try to multiply a few of them out and see if it works. Um, if you do that, let, let's just try one for example. Let's try x minus 2 and x plus 2. Try to FOIL that out, and we get x squared is our um, first term. The outer two terms you multiply together, you get a 2x. The inner two terms you multiply together, you get a minus 2x. And you multiply the last two terms to get a negative 4. Uh, in this case, the 2x and the negative 2x are just going to cancel each other out, and you're going to get an x squared minus 4. Again, of course, we got the first term right. We got the last term right, the negative 4 but we don't even have a middle term, so, so this can't be right. So we need to try to factor it a different way. Let's try our next possibility. x minus 4, x plus 1. Try to FOIL that out, and what you get is x squared as your uh, first two terms multiplied. Multiply the outer terms, you get a plus x. Multiply the inner two terms, you get a negative 4x. Multiply the last two terms, you get a negative 4. Now we combine our two like terms in the middle, and we get x squared minus 3x minus 4, which is exactly what we wanted. x squared minus 3x minus 4. So that's what we wanted. So this is how we factor that triangle. <coughs> Okay, so in the next uh, video, we're going to be factoring more trinomials, a couple of special trinomials, and, uh, and it'll be lots of fun.